Navy AD-2s were instrumented for blast and thermal radiation response and were flown at near critical distances from several bursts. Results indicated that comparatively moderate thermal inputs may seriously reduce the blast resistance of some aircraft components. Standard blue aircraft paint proved clearly inferior to white or unpainted metal surfaces for protection against destructive thermal effects. Similar flights by manned and instrumented Air Force B-50s and a B-36 gave structural response data needed to establish minimum safe operational parameters for high performance bombers. Other bombers from the Strategic Air Command flew in with the drop plane, testing techniques for obtaining yield, height of burst, and ground zero location, the three essential parameters of IBDA, indirect bomb damage assessment. On the biomedical program, Air Force QF-80 drones instrumented to measure gamma radiation and with test animals aboard were flown through atomic clouds at 30,000 and 32,000 feet. They were each controlled by primary and secondary motherships, and manned fighter escorts stood by to shoot down any drone that malfunctioned. 